To complete your value scale, you're gonna need the following supplies. Your paints, your value scale worksheet, your paint brushes, your paint palette, paper towels, and a bowl of clean water. First thing that you need to do is decide what kind of colors do you want to use for your portrait. Try to think about what feeling or mood or what you're trying to express through your portrait. Look at your color wheel and choose a color that you think will express what it is that you're trying to express in your picture. You wanna choose a color for your face or the actual portrait, and then you wanna choose some sort of color scheme uh, to go along with that color for your background. So for my picture, I wanna create a unique and individual color. So I'm gonna be choosing a tertiary color, a blue violet color. And I think for my background, I wanna create um, an analogous color scheme. So I'll be using a color that is within three to five colors of my blue violet color, which is the tint pink. I think that if I use these two colors together, that'll give a nice calming mood to my portrait. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna mix my number three value. Uh, because I'm using a color that doesn't come straight from the bottle, I'm gonna need to pre-mix my number three value. So to mix my blue violet, I'm gonna start with my blue because that's the lighter color, and I'm gonna mix a decent amount. That way I'll have enough to make my hue, which is my number three, and I'll also uh, be able to use some of that number three to then mix my tint and also mix my shade. So I'm gonna start with my blue and then I'm gonna clean my brush, dry it off so that I don't end up watering it down. And I'm gonna add just a small amount of red to my paint until I get the blue violet color that I want. I'm gonna to need to add just a little bit more. Okay, so this is gonna be my tertiary color. I encourage you, and it looks more blue in the camera, but I encourage you to uh, mix colors. Do not use colors straight out of the container. It's gonna look much more interesting if you custom mix your color. Uh, if you're using the color yellow, uh, I would suggest that if you are doing your shade, that you, instead of using straight black, that you actually mix gray to shade your color instead of using black. So I have my hue mixed here, and I'm gonna start by painting that right here in my number three. The reason why we do a value scale is so that we can plan out our values and that we can make sure that we're gonna get equal amounts of contrast between all of our values before we actually get started on our painting. So I have my hue, which is my number three value. Now I'm going to go over here to my white and I'm gonna paint number one with my white color. So I can use my white straight out of the container. Sometimes if your number three is a really dark color to begin with, you might want to make that number one just a little bit tinted uh, so that you don't end up with too much contrast. Now, the next thing that I need to do is I need to make my number two, which is my tint. I want my tint to be about halfway in contrast between my one and my three. I don't want my tint to be too close to my three because then there won't be enough contrast. There'll be too big of a jump from one to two. And I don't want my two to be too light because then there'll be too much contrast between the two and the three parts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some white. I, you always start with your lighter color first. I'm gonna put that into the well next to my blue violet color. I'm gonna wash my brush off, dry it. And then I'm gonna add small amounts of my number three value. Until I get this about halfway, I want it to be about halfway between the one and the three. That looks about halfway. 
and I'm going to paint my number two here. So there's still a good amount of contrast between my one and my two and my three. Next, I'll rinse my brush, and now I'm ready to make my black. So I'm gonna paint my black in. Now again, if you're using the color yellow, you might want to use a gray, a dark gray for your number five. Uh, just there's, yellow is such a light color that if you go all the way to black, uh, it might be too much contrast. I'm rinsing my brush, drying it off. Now I'm gonna use some of this number three. And I'm just gonna add a small amount of black to darken the color. It should still look like the blue-violet. And I want my shade again to be about halfway between my three and my five. Now that I'm looking at this, I'm thinking that there's a little too much contrast between my one and my two value. So I have two choices. I can either lighten my number two or I can add just a small, small amount of violet to my number one and make it not pure white. Just make it a very light violet. Now that's lessened that contrast a little bit. And now I've got about equal amounts of contrast between my one, my two, my three, my four, and my five values. So this is just to plan out your contrast. So the next thing that I need to do is decide what color I'm gonna use for my background. And I had decided that I want to use a pink color. So I, of course, I'm gonna start with my white because that's my lighter value. And then I'm not just gonna use red, I'm actually gonna mix just a tiny bit of blue into my red. so that it's pink, but it's a little bit, has just a little bit of blue in there. And I think I wanna go a little bit lighter than that. So I'm going to add a little more white to my color. And then I'll paint my background color so that I have my plan. The next step will be to mix larger quantities of each of your values so that you have enough to complete your entire painting. 